Hi guys, welcome back to Tara Makes Up. Today I have a video all about how I pack and the tools that I use and the tricks I use to pack when I'm going away for, let's say, a two week holiday or if I'm traveling with work and I wanna have all my makeup, all my wash bag, all my hair stuff, everything I could need for a kind of long away trip with me. This is the bag I use and it's called the, I think it's called the Diva uh, makeup bag. Um, I'll pop links, obviously, everything below. Um, and yeah, this bag is amazing. It's so good. I'm gonna show you now how I pack it and all the different compartments and why it's such a good bag. So the best thing about this setup is the fact that everything is so amazingly well organized. So like I said guys, this is my kind of big um, travel bag for when I'm away for a long time. So first thing I always take with me, you guys know how I feel about wipes. I feel like wipes when you're going away, if anything I use them more as well kind of taking makeup off the back of my hand or if I'm out and about and I'm really in a rush. So the first ones I take with me are the Kogendo, the Spa Cleansing Water Wipes. These are just amazing, really gentle. And then I often pick up some of the Yes Two wipes as well, because I find these really, really nice. So I take a few of those with me and they're just good for traveling or even at the airport. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five little um, bags that kind of all come out. They've got little pouches so you can take them off really easily, which is really good. Um, the first one I have is the really small one. This one I keep for like nails and hair things. And in here, I've got some nail varnish remover pads. These are really good. I wrap them up just in case they leak. And I've got some little, these are, I think these are mini Essie ones I got from a little set that are really nice. So I've got like a little blue, a little kind of lime green and orange. And then I just have, whoops, and then I just have um, loads of kind of like hair bands and grips and stuff. So in this compartment, I keep my toiletries and in here I have got a dry shampoo. I've got some allergy relief tablets. I've got some toothpaste. I've got little mini deodorant and I really recommend anything you can get in miniature makes life so much easier. Um, I have a razor. These are really good when you're traveling. It's one of those little um, kind of fluff removers. So if you have cardigans or wool with you, they're really good. And then I always take some perfume just to count it into one of those little kind of travel and go, travel and go sprays. And the great thing as well is because everything's see-through, it's so easy to find things when you need something out of here. So straight away I know where everything is and it's easy to get to. So the one that probably has the most stuff actually, believe it or not, is my skincare. So this one I have, try and run through it quickly. So as I open up, you will see I've got loads of different kind of shaped Q-tips and cotton buds. I keep some in a little bag already made so they're kind of ready to go and it's also this little compartment this little bag has little compartments within the bag so around the sides I can keep little extra cotton pads I can keep little eye creams and serums um, I've got everything I would need like I said if I was going away for a really long trip I would probably just buy another cleanser whilst I'm out in that country or just keep one big cleanser to top up in my bag but I'll keep for example um, some like Marcella water the Bobbi Brown travel bottles are amazing guys so one of those, um, I've got some liquid, no, not liquid, um, some waterproof eye makeup remover. This is really, really good. Um, anytime, like I said, I get miniatures, so things like the Estee Lauder serums, that's great. Um, I have a lip balm for when I travel. My lips always, always get dry. That's the Clarins lip oil. I have a number seven uh, protect and perfect serum, which is kind of like a body moisturizer. And then I will sometimes take kind of like an exfoliating face peel or some kind of exfoliant. This is one I'm trying by Bosque at the minute. And then I just decant to now whatever moisturizer I'm using into this Estee Lauder pot, which did have Estee Lauder moisturizer in, but I've used it all up. And the other thing I always take with me for kind of traveling long trips away is um, little kind of sachets of things I want to try. So I've got a couple of Bobbi Brown ones, some Aesop ones, and I'll just pop them in there, especially if I have kind of anything like facial treatment wise in there they're really good to pack so the next one is makeup this is an exciting one and in here again when I travel I kind of know I want a mix of a couple of different things but I do keep it kind of quite stamped to the things I use all the time so I've got my mascara in here I've got kind of a concealer that matches my skin tone and one that's slightly lighter for brightening under the eyes I've got my Tom Ford eyeliner pen, of course. Um, I will take things like, you know, maybe one like neutral kind of like groundwork paint pot. Um, you guys know I love the Clinique brush on cream liner in black honey. Anything that's kind of like my go-to staple. So I've got like a H&M natural lipstick that's really nice. That one's really super pretty and it's just nice for every day. And then I'll take kind of like one bright as well. So I've got this one by Charlotte Tilbury. That's Lost Cherry. That's a really, really nice one. My NYX brow pencil. 
and then a couple of different kind of coals. So I've got the Tom Ford high definition eye pencil in black. And then I have kind of like a smoky shimmery brown from Clarins. That's really nice. I'll often just take kind of one lip pencil unless I know I'm doing lots of statement lips. And yeah, I think within there, I have kind of everything that I use pretty much on an everyday basis. I even have saved out of an eyelash packet, a little teeny tiny mini duo, which is good if I do want to do some lashes, but I find that everything I need pretty much fits in there. So that's kind of my everyday go-to pieces with a couple of extra options as well. So last but not least is my brushes, and I just love the length of this pot. It's so, so good. I can see what's in there. Obviously they're a bit dirty at the minute because I've been using them today. And I, what I would say is a really good tip as well if you're traveling is before you pack your makeup bag into your suitcase, maybe get your makeup ready like one or two days before and then just try out every, so do your makeup from the bag. And that way, if you feel like, ah, actually I forgot X or I forgot Y, you can just add it in here and know you've got it for your trip. So in here, Again, I keep kind of my standards. I keep like a little pair of tweezers from Kiko. I keep them in this so that they don't rip any of the plastic. And it's worth noting as well, the best thing about the purse end is that this is all kind of um, waterproof material. So if anything spills, it doesn't matter. It's really easy to wipe clean. Um, eyelash curlers, that's a must. Um, my Real Technique setting brush, which I love. Um, I've got a Zoeva face brush in there. And then I've just got a couple of kind of like Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. And then a couple of brushes that if I wanted to do a smoky eye look or something like that, I've just got a mix of kind of blending brushes and brushes for more precision work. So then I come onto this pocket, which is kind of like one large pocket. And this is kind of where I can take all my extra things as well. So if I have like hair products, um, foundations or palettes, I keep it all in this bit, which has also got like a plastic lining. So it's really easy to keep clean. So in here I have um, a mini Urban Decay setting spray. This is really good when I'm about and traveling. Um, I will always take foundation wise, kind of one everyday foundation, like a tinted moisturizer with high SPF. This one is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser SPF 30, which I've totally fallen in love again. Um, and I am shade light two, which I actually find is still quite warm. And then for a more kind of like evening foundation or a long wearing foundation, I will take something like the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. And this one is intensity too. So that's what I'm kind of wearing at the minute. And I just love this one because it's very buildable and you can build the coverage, but it still feels like your skin. And then palette wise for eyes, like you saw, I didn't have that many kind of eye options. So I think the Lorac palette is just one of the best for traveling. It's really super thin. It's really easy to travel with. Obviously you can just, you put all your mattes, all your shimmers. Um, I use Torp loads, I use Pewter loads and all the kind of chocolatey browns, I use loads. And that's just such a good palette for traveling with. So if I'm away on a long trip, I will take some of the um, Ardell individual lashes in the short. Really, really like these. I think these are gorgeous. And I just like to know I've got a set with me. Um, I'll take a couple of masks so if I get some time in a hotel room on my own, I've got time to chill. I'll take some of the Skin Iceland Hydro Cooling Eye Gels, especially if there's any light nights involved. And then I've got some of the Bio Republic. These are the Aloe Rescue, um, like a sheet mask. So that's really nice. And then this by Estee Lauder, which was a limited edition product, but this is such a good kind of like all in one palette. So this one is the one that's the, I think it was called like the limited edition glow or something. But as you can see, it's kind of got like the bronzer, the blush, the highlight, all in one palette. So anything that you can use to kind of condense things down always makes things easier as well. So this is amazing. This is kind of like my custom palette I take with me when I travel and it's by Bobbi Brown. Now, I think you can still get these. They're just called the Fate Empty Face Palette. And um, they have like six little wells on. You can write on the back what's in there. So you could put lipstick in there. You could put concealers. You could put like cream eyeshadows. And I've just made, as, made mine as like a kind of emergency face palette. So what I mean by that is I have every kind of concealer I would need um, for everything from kind of like covering spots to dark circles to blemishes. So I've got some Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in here. I've got some Bobbi Brown Eye Brighteners and then a couple of different concealers, which I can kind of mix between if I'm out and about and it's got everything I need in there. That is also super thin as well. And then last but not least, I've got a Charlotte Tilbury powder. So that's just one of their airbrush powders, just so I can set my makeup if I need to. I've got my toothbrush and that's everything that goes in that pocket. So that's the bag when it's done up. It's a really nice little shape. You can see it's got like a little carry-on handle. 
It is a little bit heavy, but I feel like that's got absolutely everything I need in there. I absolutely love the print, I love the shape, and it's just perfect for when I'm on the go. I hope you enjoyed having a little snoop around my makeup bag and how I kind of pack when I'm going away for a long trip with my makeup and skincare, etc. Um, I've very kindly been given a discount code as well for my subscribers. Um, you can get 30% off per cent using this code that's on the screen here. I'll also pop links below as well in the description box. Um, I'd love to know what your essentials are as well for going away, especially minutes. You guys know I love a miniature, so pop those also in the description box. Not description box, the comments section, that's what I mean. So let me know if there's anything else you would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you like it, and I'll see you soon with more videos. Thanks very much guys, bye!